What's up guys, Rand Razor here with another random product review video for you guys today. And today I bring you guys a quick in-depth review of the Canada Goose Chateau Parka Winter Jacket. Decided I wanted something a little bit more warmer this winter than your standard peacoat jacket, so decided to give the Canada Goose Chateau Parka Winter Jacket here a shot for this winter. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the brand Canada Goose, Canada Goose jackets are white duck down winter jackets that are supposed to be one of the warmest and one of the top brands in Canada, providing superior warmth and quality and coats that are not only designed for Canadians but also made here in Canada. As I mentioned earlier, this particular model here is the Chateau Parka. Unlike the more larger models such as the Expedition or Citadel models, the Chateau Parka is a lot more streamlined, urbanized look to it, giving it a lot more fashionable style and of course comfort. One of the reasons why I like the Chateau Parka model was is one of the few uh, models that actually offered a front button design, giving it a bit of a formal and kind of a peacoat look that I'm previously upgrading to. Unlike a peacoat, however, this particular model does of course come with a zipper behind the button flap. The Chateau Parka features three main pockets, two hand warmer pockets on both the left and right side, and of course a zippered pocket on the top here. Instead of the zipper, the par Chateau Parka features this large flap that overlaps the pocket, so anything you throw in it can still be significantly secured into place with this particular flap so nothing flies out. In addition, the hand warmer pockets also feature this very nice fleece lined soft material to ensure your hands are comfortable and warm. The top pocket here, as I mentioned earlier, is zippered so it's a lot more secure than the two bottom pockets. Great spot for throwing in your smartphone or your wallet. And also, it does not only it only it not only extends this way, but also extends downward. So anything you throw in your pocket, for example, if you forget to close your zipper, it's going to be down here, so it's not going to accidentally fly out. Hidden under the sleeves here, of course, is these cotton uh, ruffs here. They're pretty much designed to ensure that uh, if it's snowing out or really windy, that snow or wind won't go up your arm when you're wearing the coat. The coat also features a very large hood which is also um, lined with the, the white duck down to keep your head warm if you require this. And of course it also has Canada Goose's infamous coyote fur ruff. It's actual real coyote fur, very soft to the touch, very good quality as well. And of course the purpose of the ruff is designed if it's you know really windy or uh, a lot of blowing snow. When you throw this up, the fur ruff design is designed to ensure that a lot of snow gets trapped in this instead of flying into your face. It also helps uh, keep your head warm uh, by insulating the head portion area. Taking a look at the interior of the coat, it is lined with a very nice soft nylon material to ensure that you're very comfortable and of course warm. And of course it also features three interior pockets, two on the bottom right and left corner here. And another pocket on the top here with a zipper, so if you want to store cash or change or anything like that, uh, it's a great spot to put it as it's nice and secure with a zipper. And there goes the penny. And as I mentioned earlier, this coat is made in Canada, so it's not only designed for Canadians, it's also made for Canadians. And of course, this is the small model. Uh, for those of you who uh, wear medium or large, you may want to consider a size down as these coats are a little bit bigger. Also forgot to mention the fur ruff is removable, so if you don't want the fur ruff on, you can take that off. Unfortunately, the hood portion here is permanently attached to the coat, but nonetheless, it looks pretty nice with the way it is uh, with the hood on. The last couple features on the coat is this nylon strap here to pull your coat off a shelf or hang it. And of course, an adjustment strap here for the hood to ensure uh, the size of your head fits comfortably with this hood on. So that's an overview of the features. Let's put it on myself and show you guys what it looks like on an actual person. All right, so here's what the coat looks like on an actual person. It's a pretty nice fit. It's very comfortable, it's nice and snug, which I really like. Again, it is a slim fit model, so unlike the relaxed fit model or the, the re relaxed fit sizes, uh, like the Expedition and I think the Citadel might not, might be. I'm not sure. But uh, essentially, what that means is a slim fit, something more snugger against your body. Your relaxed fit, you have more, you know, wiggle room. But anyways, um, this is what it looks like on an actual person. Also, you can judge yourself where it looks good or not. On at least myself. And uh, again, it is a small, so for those of you um, who are buying these type of jackets, maybe consider a size smaller than what you normally buy in terms of clothing, because these are pretty big coats. But uh, yeah, that's why I got the small in terms of it, as it fits, you know, really nice and snug. But anyways, um, yeah, in terms of the uh, style itself, as I mentioned earlier, I mainly got it because it's a lot more formal looking coat, similar to my P, similar to my P coat, uh, which I'm not necessarily changing to. I'll still use that coat, but I also want something a little bit more warmer uh, for this winter. Uh, and of course, the P coat. Similar button style, a lot more formal looking than your traditional coat. Um, also, the Chateau Parka model, it's a lot more streamlined coat, so it's more for, you know, geared to more, more, you know, urbanized styling. That made no sense, but it's a more, you know, more streamlined look compared to the Exhibition model. It's not designed to look like it's meant for the Arctic or anything like that. It's just, you know, a nice warm looking coat and uh, just, you know, it's based on what style you like. But anyways, um, yeah, overall guys, I'm pretty happy with this coat. Is it worth it though? 
brand new if you're buying from Canada Goose at their local um, retailers or whatever. They're a little bit overpriced, actually way overpriced than what I think. But nonetheless, your other option is to go on Kijiji and stuff, but then you have to you know, research into the ad or whatever coat you're looking at to make sure it's authentic. Because there are tons of um, different Canada Goose uh, coats that are really faked, and um, they're faked a lot, quite a bit. So do you know, be cautious when you're looking you know, on Kijiji or eBay or you know, places like that. And um, yeah, so that's one thing to consider. Um, the other thing is, um, there's another popular model called the Chillock model. It's a little bit different than this. It doesn't have the button design and plus, and also the uh, coat extends just down to the waist here, but it has an elastic, which is an added advantage. Or it's an added advantage because it you know seals that you know bottom portion of the coat, whereas the Chateau Parka is a little bit you know, more open. But um, anyway, so yeah, that's a little comparison there. I like this one more because it's more formal, more formative looking. And also the Chilliwack model. I don't know about you guys, every time I see someone wearing a Shannon Canada Goose jacket on my campus at university, nine times out of ten, it's a Chilliwack model. I think there are just way too too many uh, out of them, and I rarely ever see this particular model. Actually, I don't think I've seen anybody else yet, but anyways, it's $100 less, so if you want to save a little money, you can also consider that model. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the coat. It's very comfortable as well. I'm not really sure what else to say other than you know the features and stuff I mentioned in the overview earlier in this video. But um, yeah, this is what it looks like. Here's a little quick shot of the uh, left side here. Here's a little quick shot of the uh, left side here at the back. And of course, the right side. And uh, yeah, hey, so if you guys have any questions or comments about the Chateau Parka, um, Canada Goose uh, Winter Jacket, ask me down in the comment section there down below. And I will see you all next video. Also, and I'll see you all next video. And of course, have a great Christmas. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, is that pretty much it for this video? Hope you guys enjoy this. And of course, if you guys have any questions or comments, ask me down in the comment section there down below. And of course, hit that like button as it always helps me out. But anyways, um, thanks for watching, guys. Also, have a Merry Christmas as that's uh, the time this video was made. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.